What's going on guys, Sam Adams here and we have an extra video for this week because I wanted to let you guys know how I find enough money to play the amount of games that I play. I try to at least hit every major game release on the week that it comes out at some point just because I feel like it's my duty to you guys to really form a one-on-one uh, -on -one experience with the game so that I can give accurate feedback as to how the game is. Uh, I feel like I just want to play the game because I'm a gamer and let's be honest here, we all don't have enough money to buy every awesome game that comes out. And that's where Redbox comes in because they've recently started this new campaign uh, claiming that they are the best way to try out a game before you buy it and find your next favorite game for cheaper than face value. And I have to admit that they have an awesome service that not many people truly take advantage of. Uh, so pretty much the way Redbox works is that you go, you scan your credit card, you select the game that you want and it pops out in a little uh, kind of like one of those old CD packs that you used to see back in the day and you go home and you can play it for 24 hours for $3 and then you bring it back to the store and you pop it back in the red box and these things are found outside of Harris Teeters, Walmarts, gas stations, pretty much one every couple of blocks or so. Ultimately, for $3, you can figure out what new games are actually worth your full $60. For instance, I wanted to play Call of Duty Black Ops 3, but I knew that I had just bought Halo 5, I knew that Fallout 4 was coming out, and I didn't necessarily want to dish out that full $60 price tag just so I could see if the new Call of Duty was good. So the day that it came out, I actually got up at 6 a.m., checked the Redbox app on my phone. There's actually a Redbox app on my phone. That was Snapchat, that wasn't Redbox. But I found out that it was at the kiosk right now on the street and at 6 a.m. I drove my car down and picked up a game that was released six hours before and I only paid three dollars and I got to experience it for not only 24 hours but you can keep the game for additional days and continue playing it and I played it all weekend for a grand total of I believe six dollars and 44 cents if I remember correctly. Ultimately, I played the game for about six hours, primarily multiplayer, and I found that it became pretty repetitive, and I wasn't really enjoying it as much as I thought it was, so I only spent $6.44, and I figured out that it wasn't necessarily a game that I wanted to pay full price for. However, if you are a hardcore gamer and you wanted to play one of the big AAA title releases, you could potentially stay up for that entire 24 hours and really wring that $3 worth out of that game. For instance, I wanted to play The Order 1886, on the week that it came out earlier this February. However, obviously the big controversy was that the uh, campaign was about six hours long. So instead of paying $60 the day that it came out, I went and got it from Redbox for $3, like I said, and I went home and not only did I finish the entire campaign, I platinumed the game within that 24 hour period and I only spent $3 and I personally thought that it was a great game. And a lot of people were just saying it was terrible because it was only about six hours long, which was kind of a disappointment. However, I only paid $3 and that $3 got me a great gaming experience. Ultimately, it depends on what kind of rental experience you are really looking for because for me, I just want to try these games before I buy them and see if they're actually going to be worth my full $60. However, if you are looking for a rental service where you can rent it for, you know, one or two weeks and really play the game to its fullest potential and just ring it out, then you probably want to go with Gamefly or maybe even a small rental service. Unfortunately, Blockbuster is no longer with us. Rest in peace. But, um that's probably not the kind of thing you're going to be getting from Redbox. However, what Redbox does do right is that it gives gamers like me who are in college who might not necessarily have all of the income that other people might have, they allow people like me to try out every new game that comes out, develop some kind of opinion on it and figure out if I want to get it at a later date, and all of that is available for the price of a mocha from Starbucks. And that is awesome. So there you guys have it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, drop me a like down below and comment what you think about Redbox. Do you rent games and movies from Redbox? Have you ever tried it? Do you actually have a store that you go to kind of like Blockbuster? Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And if you are new to the channel or you've never seen any of my other videos, be sure to head over there and check out some of my other content because I do upload new stuff like three or four days a week depending on the week. So there's always something new on the channel when you drop by to watch some videos. And as always, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this particular video. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.